the last part of last chapter of the presentation um, i would say that uh, I, i really like this word and so many people even in the introduction they said the science fiction like a frankly speaking i i really am not a big fan of science fiction if you ask me why i my inspiration come from my inspiration come from indian mythology i don't know why because i always used to read those mythology and in fact this were much much more advanced than the science fiction that we are seeing i i've seen you must have seen the ramayana and mahabharata and where the some arrows are flying in and and stopping in the air and then putting some sparkles right amazing that was uh, that's the uh, or even the planes like uh, someone is sitting on some kind of plane and in the, someone was able to see what is happening miles away by wireless connection and telling that that live live war thing war story in mahabharata to someone else that was the the real fiction and that have been uh, already done so what we are doing is we are just implementing the architecture was already done we are just implementing the software code for that so Uh, one of this uh, inspiration maybe rather than talking i will try to show you live so uh, let's hope the bombay has clouds today so so this is one of the uh, small project uh, i will just uh, try to run on hopefully yeah so i'm not sure if you can see on the video over there but uh, let's try so this is my normal android phone and uh, i'm just trying to um, open a camera application on that and uh, peter do you mind if i take a picture of you okay so here is peter okay i think i have a very nice uh, smiling picture of peter over here and all the pictures goes over in this folder so there are two pictures i'm sure you are not able to see very nicely from that distance but there are two pictures there one picture in this folder taken from earlier time but the first picture on top is the peter's picture right so now i want to copy this picture right what i'm doing is i'm looking in front of my phone i'm going little bit this side so you can see what is happening and i'm just simply touching this picture so i touch this picture and hopefully in couple of seconds because the so now this picture is in my finger right now i copy that data into my body because information is intangible it can go into your body why not so i'm 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 not joking i can now copy this content anywhere in any other devices that i have i don't need to need bring that phone with me because i am the token of that the data right and rather than waiting let's see let's uh, try if this guy is also having luck with that so you are seeing my computer screen um, in order to show you i'm rotating the screen so you can you can see what i'm trying to do over here and i'm simply just uh, trying to uh, i need to look one time to this computer saying that oh hello i am pranav yes okay and yeah that's where peter is okay. And, okay. so you might be asking oh is it magic you guys are it it people right so you know how it works so it's simple so what is happening in this one is the cloud is the the source of the data it is going to my personal cloud is storing inside my not everyone's cloud not the cloud it is my cloud is staying in that cloud and i am just a token of that data and that is what happens to our emails in some sense right i'm just doing the same thing not only it's not also that the two devices are connected they are not connected at all to each other they are just connected simply to the links to the internet i can simply uh, also the same thing i can open a youtube and let's say um, if you guys are okay with the time i'm little bit taking more time looks like uh, um, anyway so this are some video uh, some let's say any video so uh, there is a uh, ms dhoni some six uh, in last uh, the over or something a, a video of a cricket so i'm just trying to copy this video so i press it hard as soon as i press it hard that video should be in my finger in a minute and um, not even minute a second maybe hopefully so what is happening that now video that video link is in my hand I want to show that video to a friend on his phone I can simply go and touch his phone say oh, this is the video I have or even a big TV I want to show that I can just show you that TV so that is what the technology works like we call it spurs and I will move um, I will not uh, go into detail of that seeing that time is little bit limited but the the technology is completely patented and lot of uh, media responses are interested in using this into existing devices because that's what the people are looking for people are looking for the human aspects or or this kind of magic uh, the technology should be doing so a very simple video uh, that was explaining that concept uh, let me just move on a little bit so an application of that thing as i mentioned again is so much so even if a person is copying a phone number from a website and he wants to call that person 
So he doesn't need to type that number because he has a text copy in that finger, the number, right? In this case, um, an address is copied, said I want to print out a map of that address, a friend send me an address that we are meeting at this address. So you can simply copy paste any kind of content between any kind of devices because here you are, you are becoming the USB thumb drive, that's all, it's as simple as, simple as that. Right? So inspiration of this project was very simple that I want, I actually went to a temple in one summer. And I see that a monk is taking a red powder from his plate and he's putting a silicone on my head. Right? It is very simple that a, a physical object can come from that thing and you're passing using your finger to a physical red color. But then I thought actually he's passing me the blessing of the God and blessing is like a digital data. Right? Right? So I thought it's a, we can simply use this concept uh, and, and apply that. One, one maybe last project I would uh, love to show, and this is one of the recent projects I was working, and also based on mythology. So if you notice that Indian mythologies have a lot of these characters which can change their body part sizes, right? They can become huge or bigger, or they can extend their hand always longer, right? So I thought, why I cannot make my hand longer? Because I always need that, because sometimes you are working on a computer screen, and then you think that someone knocks a door. I need to go there and open the door. Maybe if I can make my hand longer, I can just make hand longer, open the door and come back. Right? Or simply sometimes happens that uh, turn off the light and then, or maybe alarm is ringing and I need to go there to turn off. You can just hand long and, and turn off the alarm. So I thought we can easily do that. Right? The one solution is the door can come to me. I can open it and it go back. Right? And, and rather I take it very seriously. I said, yeah, door can actually come to me. If I can, I can touch it, I can control it and it go back. And it's as simple as this, right? So, I will show you what is happening in this case. So, I call it tele-touch. So, it's like a television, telephone, you are now able to touch from the far. What is happening is that now, for example, if this is the lamp or this is the light that I want to turn off, now the light is here, I, on my phone, I can see the light on my phone screen. I can touch it here, right? And I can control it. If I'm not able to see the button properly, I can zoom in and then touch it. So that's what Telita is about, a very new project, so our demos are a little bit uh, slow because of the, we are using uh, internet connections and stuff, but you are seeing it's a completely working live demo and we call it Teletouch. Hopefully, here you go. So as soon as you look at the, any lamp, the on and off control of that lamp automatically comes and you can turn on a lamp and it works. Now, this is not a, a joke, this is a completely working system. I will show you if you want after that, right? And even you can turn off that lamp, right? What is happening in this case, that lamp has an IP address. My lamp didn't have IP address, so I made uh, a small version that it can give him IP address. So this can give him IP address. Even a TV, that most of the TVs nowadays are connected to internet. So now if you want to change the channel, you don't need to find a remote. You just look the TV and swipe the channel. Okay. Uh, a friend knocks the door, that's why I give the example, and someone is unlocking the door. So he just unlocks the door. And so this is how it works. The, the lamp was connected to a power supply, but in between power, I, I, I put some small Arduino board and IP, give him an IP, because I need to control that wirelessly. So now as soon as you look at the, the screen over there, okay, you might be asking how it knows it's a lamp, right? So that part is a, is a proper computer vision which is able to track anything uh, in front of you and, and very precise features. Not only that, it's able to precisely track um, even digital content. For example, this is a laptop, so you can see the red line on the phone over there. It's, it's very precisely tracking. So now I'm able to, whatever I see, I can control the mouse pointer. Not only that, I'm selecting a file from that. Say I want to copy this file from computer to mobile, my mobile. Selecting this file and copy this from there to here. So it's like a, you're bringing, pinching, making your hand longer and taking that file from here to here. Right? Same way you can delete, control, push, whatever kind of uh, thing. And the key, the key interesting thing about this technology is, uh, in this example, it's a meeting going on. 
and some person want to point it out that um, this thing. So she is taking her tablet, just a normal tablet, and she is able to annotate on a live presentation, someone else's presentation. And you must be thinking there must be a lot of hardware necessary on this or cameras and something like that. There is no hardware. It's existing hardware that you have in your pocket right now. Everything. There is nothing I'm changing in your hardware. And of course there are a lot of applications I cannot show all of them in this video. If you want, if you get a document, you want to print it out on your mobile phone, you say print this and he's asking which printer. You can just show this printer and say print it on this printer. Right? So I was not at my desk and a friend of mine left me a message. The pen didn't work so now she's able to she is trying to draw that uh, message that she want to leave me with this gift. So the, the message of this particular project is that it's not necessary for us to always have extra powerful hardware or many things in order to give a better user experience. User experience is, it depends on, on our thinking and uh, understanding the user itself and maybe reading the Indian mythology maybe more. I'm sorry. For <laughs> so that was a very recent project uh, and, and it works so I'm, I'm not, uh, if, you, if you guys are not very sure about that so I can actually show you live. So. Just give me one second and hopefully. So you can see as soon as I am looking at my screen it is recognizing exactly what even in this kind of uh, features my screen is gone because they have taken a camera view of this thing. <laughs> anyway, but it is able to recognize uh, very much precisely the red. You can see on my phone there is a red line which is very precisely even any angle I am able to recognize that thing. So, I only need to do first time editing that thing. So the last slide, can I? Okay. With that, um, there were a lot of fun projects. I think we don't have enough time, but I would stop in that case here with the last message that that the world that we have created is the product of our thinking, and it cannot be changed without changing our own thinking. So that's uh, Albert Einstein's words, uh, and I, I really respect that particular um, uh, message from him. So with that I will say thank you and uh, you are most welcome to ask any questions.